How are you people? Hi five. Yes. Fine. Okay. Hi five. Yes. Hi five, dear people. Hi five. Very good. Okay. Friday. Finally, we made it to Friday. Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? Excellent. Okay. Let us start. Okay. What was the assignment I gave you yesterday? Can anyone tell me? What was the assignment that I gave you yesterday? Uh, is anyone uh, uh, ready to tell me what was the assignment I gave yesterday? Anyone? Okay, someone is raising hands. Arun. Arun, I'm allowing you to talk. Can you tell me what was the assignment I gave you yesterday? Anyone? Okay. I'm uh, going to wait for uh, some of you to get, uh, recollect and uh, answer me. Meanwhile, I'm going to share my screen and let us start proceeding. Okay. Today, we are going to learn about an important topic called topic sentence. Yesterday, we stopped with introduction to topic sentence. Right. I just introduced you uh, and we, we read one example. Right. Today, we are going to go ahead and learn more about topic sentence and we are going to practice as well. Right? Okay, so let me start. So a topic we know that is simply the punchline of the paragraph. If you read that topic sentence, which is the usually the first or second line, it tells you whether that paragraph is about a particular topic or not. Okay. Is everyone in agreement with me? Is topic sentence uh, going to tell you what is the paragraph about? Okay. Since everybody is sleeping, I'm going to give you a quiz. Okay. I'm, I'm pasting a link where you, you can take up the quiz and see your marks. I have put the uh, form in the chat box. I want everyone to take up the test. If you click on that form, you will see a test. I want you to attempt the first three questions. Wake up. Once you have attempted, give me a thumbs up and put down your score on the QA box. Give me a done once you are done and also share your marks out of three. done how many of you have completed still reading 
Kanchana, you have raised your hand. Have you completed? Kanchana? We will take uh, two, three more minutes. You people should monitor your reading speed. These are small paragraphs. It should not take you more time to read. Let's attempt the first three questions. We have not done the last two yet. I will introduce that topic and then we can take it up. who has completed is everyone able to access the form is everybody able to access the form okay who has completed okay pugarendi very good pugarendi pugarendi is the first person to complete well done okay Bhuvi has got three. Vishnu has got two. Very good. Very good. Anandi has got, uh, has completed. Uh, Sarumati has completed. Okay. I am going to pick some people at random. Okay. And I am going to ask you to answer my question. Okay. For those of you who had difficulty, please use this opportunity. I am I am going to unmute one of you and ask you to try and answer this question. Who is volunteering? Who wants to read an answer for everyone to learn? Who is going to be the superhero volunteer today? Please raise your hand so that I can unmute you. Raise your hand only if you are confident to talk. I am not telling you to have the right answer. I am telling you to have the confidence to talk. Please raise your hand. I want one volunteer. Okay. Air Malai. Okay. Air Malai, I am unmuting you, Air Malai. Okay. I think Air Malai. Air Malai, are you able to hear me? Are you willing to talk? Okay, I'm going to go in for other volunteers. Anyone who wants to volunteer, please raise your hand. Okay, Vishnu wants to volunteer. Okay, I want to give Vishnu a chance. Vishnu? Please try and talk. Hello? Vishnu, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Vishnu. Can you read the paragraph and pick the answer for the first question, Vishnu? The term species is a pleasant one. Spices. Whether... The term spices. Oh, spices is a pleasant one. Whether it cannot root a fine uh, French cuisine or a down home uh, cinnamon flavored apple pie. Dash in the past individual traveled the world seeking exotic species for a profit and in searching have changed the course of history. Indeed, to gain the control of hands, adoring new species, natures having a actually going to the war. Okay, so uh, what is the topic about? Let us go for the option. I will read the option. You can tell me which one you think is right. Okay. okay. The, the first option says the taste and aroma of spices are the main elements that make food such a source of fascination and pleasure. That is the first option. The second option is the term might be might equally bring to mind Indian curry made thousands of miles away and those delicious barbecued ribs sold on the corner. Third, it is exciting to find a good 
cookbook and experiment with spices from other lands indeed it is one way to travel around the globe last option the history of spices however is another matter altogether and at times it can be filled with danger and intrigue which one do you think can be a topic sentence for this paragraph uh, maybe d ma'am very good d anyone else have uh, any difference of opinion anyone else have any difference of opinion okay okay um any other volunteer thank you very much vishnu any other volunteer thank you ma'am saroja do you want to read saroja i am unmuting yourself kokila please hold on i'll give you chance in the next question saroja can you talk saroja can you talk have unmuted your mic can you hear me perfect i can hear you okay saroja can you read the second paragraph and pick the topic sentence yes ma'am yes read please it weights less than 3 pounds and is hardly more interesting to look at than an overly rip cauliflower right. has overly created right. uh, has created poetry and music planned and executed horrific wars and devi devised irritate irri scientific right. theories it mm. thinks and dreams plots and schemes and easily holds more information than all the libraries on earth very good so let i will read the options for you please okay. try and pick the right one according to you the first one is the human brain is made of gelatinous matter and contains no nerve ending second one is the science of neurology has found a way to map the most important areas of the human brain okay nevertheless the human brain is the most myster mysterious and complex object on earth however scientists say that each person uses only 10% of his brain or his or her brain over the course of a lifetime so which do you think can be the topic sentence Since see, ma'am, nevertheless, the human brain is the most mysterious and complex object on earth. Okay, uh, I want you to uh, fit uh, fit that line and uh, see in the paragraph. You see, it weighs less than three pounds and is hardly more interesting to look at than a overly ripe cauliflower. Nevertheless, the human brain is the most mysterious and complex uh, object on earth. It has created poetry and music. planned and executed horrific wars and diverse devised intricate scientific theory do you think the line is correctly representing the paragraph are you confident yes ma'am okay thank you anyone anyone is opposing uh, uh, saroja's answer any oppositions okay so this is the uh, correct uh, topic sentence saroja thank you you have grasped the concept very well thank you saroja right okay so now we know what is a topic sentence okay now if if i give you a big paragraph and i tell you to quickly summary give me a summary of the paragraph right um then you will say i will read the first two lines i will find the topics and then give you a summary right is everyone on the same page can everybody read a paragraph and give a summary can i have a high five here is everyone on the same page okay fine so uh, let us come to the next topic right just like how we saw that uh, topic sentences can be picked from a paragraph you can also learn to write the paragraph by using a single line 
that is you you had a full paragraph from that you picked the topic sentence right now if i give you a single line right you can build a para for the topic which will which is taking us to our next set of learning for the next two weeks which is writing okay before we get into all of that i want you to think and answer me okay if uh, if i give you a single line okay you can write a paragraph of three or four lines based on that okay that is called uh, uh, developing a paragraph for a topic okay so for example if i say if a car suddenly begins to skid on ice a driver's instinctive reaction might be the wrong one this is a simple line that i am giving you which is talking about the car skidding on the ice and the driver's instinctive reaction right if i ask you to pick the next line for this particular topic right you can think probably you will you will uh, try fitting the lines right if you pick the answer a right skits can be a terrifying experience uh i am not sure of the suitability of that line okay let me put another line cars can be very unpredictable on ice i don't think this line makes sense i'm going for another line c option c which says many people instinctively turn the wheel in the wrong direction making the skid worse you know what is special about this line it takes a lead word instinctive from the previous line so when you see a large large paragraph each line has some connectivity between each other right so it looks in all possibility like option c is the right answer this is how you pick a paragraph for a topic okay i want a volunteer to try the next paragraph for me can uh, can anyone try any volunteer who wants to volunteer Uh, selva kumar wants to volunteer okay i have a new volunteer today kamesh okay i'm going to give you a, ch a chance kamesh I want you to try i have unmuted your mic kamesh can you speak kamesh can you speak can you speak kamesh okay kamesh is quiet okay we'll go for anbarasan fine guys i want more volunteers when i ask for volunteers i want you to raise hands and respond immediately otherwise if you don't get involved the session will be boring for you right who wants to volunteer next wants to volunteer okay let me pick a volunteer randomly okay darini will you volunteer darini i have unmuted you darini okay let me check if any other person is willing to volunteer okay sai wants to volunteer my pet volunteer is here okay sai i am unmuting you i like the spirit sai kokila nivedita vishnu you people volunteer regularly very good sai yes ma'am sai can you read the second uh, 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 para line and uh, pick which one of these options might be the second line for that paragraph okay the lead inside the common pencil is actually the lead inside the common pencil is not actually lead at all okay now let us explore the option i'll read out the first option for you lead is commonly mined in africa option b pencils were invented 
in 1603 by William Ledbelly. 3. Even when sharpened, a pencil may not write as well as a pen. D. The substance used in pencils today is graphite. D, ma'am. Sorry, Ganna. D, ma'am. D, yeah. Why do you say that, ma'am? Ma'am. Solapa. Why do you say that? Actually, it's not related to pen, no, ma'am. So, option C won't, won't okay, be correct. That was a good way of thinking. Okay. That option is cut. Okay. And I, it has no relation for uh, where it where it was made and who invented it. So, okay. A, B are wrong. Okay. Good, good approach, uh, Sai. Uh, you have got the right answer. The answer is D. But I just want you to keep one thing in mind. Okay. So when, when the first line ends with the pencil is not actually lead at all. So it will it, it will automatically connect to. So then what is the lead? So if you see in the options only D says what is what is used instead of lead? Graphite. Okay. Right. So your approach is very good. You are able to eliminate the wrong choices. I want you to just understand the logic behind the right choice. Is it clear, sir? No. Okay, very good. Now, I want you to go to the rest of the two questions that you see in this form. Go back to the form. Questions four and five are similar to what we practiced now. I want you to please see and attempt those two questions. Make it fast. We will take two minutes. If you are done, please give me a, a, a done uh, text or a thumbs up. Make it fast. The same form. You can click the same form. Very good. A lot of you have been trying to answer in the chat box. Dhyanesh. Uh, Arun, Nandakumar, Kamesh, Kanishkar. Very good, everyone. Is, is, is it done? Dharani has, has completed. Very good, Dharani. Anyone else who has completed? Okay, Kamesh has completed. Albert has completed. Okay, okay. Who is willing to answer it for others to learn? Please raise your hands. If you are willing to help others learn by volunteering to answer. Okay, who is that? Nivedita. Yes, Nivedita. I'm giving you the mic. Okay. Nivedita, please talk. Yes, Nivedita, you are unmuted. Can you please talk? Nivi, please don't unmute yourself. Please, uh, please, sorry, please don't mute yourself. Unmute and talk. Okay, I'm not able to unmute Nivedita. Okay, I will uh, give a chance for Kavin Kumar today. Okay, guys, please just hold on. I'll give you a chance as well. Kavin? Kavin, please talk. Okay. Okay, Kavin, can you read uh, question number uh, four and answer it, please? Okay, ma'am. Yeah, fireplace should be lined with special fire bricks to be prevent heat transfer. Okay. Option A. Ma'am. Option A. Uh, option A. Normal bricks are not dense enough to withstand excessive heat. 
answer a is and answer a is correct one ma'am okay kanna why do you think the other options are wrong ma'am uh, the question itself uh, the word heat and uh, option a the word mm -hmm. also contain excessive heat so it's uh, too relatable very good that mm -hmm. is a very very quick grasp and, uh, very good ah solunga and remaining and remaining three it's uh, about smoke and uh, about fire and uh, last one is about uh, modern houses do not use much lumber as old homes did it about houses and homes ma'am okay very good kana very good can you try oh, the fifth okay. question cosmetic plastic surgery cosmetic plastic surgery is the one of the fast growing segments of us medicine option a cosmetic plastic surgery can have dangerous side effects some of which can be fatal option b american are eager to make their bodies as perfect as possible and to minimize the visible signs of aging option c the price of the cosmetic plastic surgery is also on the rise option d this is this increase in cosmetic plastic surgery says something quite disturbing about our culture and last option to is a dummy option uh, okay. So which option B is answer, ma'am. Okay. Uh, are you sure? Yes, ma'am. This also like last question, ma'am. U.S. medicine. U.S. medicine means American. U.S. Yeah, United States of America. Okay. So okay. this can be relatable, I think. Okay. You you uh you are getting the basic idea correct, Kevin. But I want you to think like this, okay? cosmetic plastic okay, surgery is one of the fastest growing segments of us medicine okay right so the this okay. line is talking about how fast that segment is growing okay and the basic meaning of purinjikom the line is talking about how fast that segment is growing okay now we have to pick a line here which is talking about the growth of the cosmetic industry not simply us alone okay that might be one of the inputs right so if you take option a it says cosmetic plastic surgery can have dangerous side effects some of which can be fatal this is not related to the growth of cosmetic industry so that option is wrong the second option americans are eager ma'am but uh, ma'am but uh, that uh, uh, view answer i gave ma'am it's good correct so did you correct. put b did you put b yes ma'am ah yes ma'am okay let me check the answer because also that... ah solunga uh, okay ma'am ma'am uh, uh, cosmetic plas plastic surgery is the one of the fastest growing segments of us medicine okay so you you mean they are not speaking about common place uh, you okay. mean to justify this choice through the connection between us Yes, ma'am. They are okay. uh, okay. talking Sorry. about U.S. medicine. The oh. the one thing that I want you to know is I know you are connecting based on the context of the word, but like I said, it it might be sometimes important to connect with the meaning of the lines as well. Okay. So in this particular oh, question, no. this option is right because, like you said, it is connected with the uh, with the. Uh, uh, uh context of the american uh, medicine location. okay american or us right so in some cases uh, you uh, might have to connect with the meaning of the sentence also every time you should not go just by the context of the word okay is it clear yeah sure ma'am okay sure, thank you yes, thank you kana okay so now we just covered the concepts of reading we started with basics of reading we started with a reading 101 where we said hey reading is one of the very important parts of soft skills because it will give us the power to actually proceed and uh, talk better okay if you read right uh, you you will remember some of what you read and when you remember what you read you can easily talk to others right so that is about reading right
so we started off from there and we we went on to do simple reading exercises where we we try to read and understand or answer questions from what we read okay we learned what are the different types of or purposes of reading we know that we can read for what are the different purposes of reading can can anyone type quickly can anyone type a purpose of reading one of the purpose of reading type fast i am waiting what are the different purposes of reading yes karishma dhyanesh anto kamesh please go on and type your answers you can type one purpose of reading there are multiple purposes of reading can you type one purpose of reading make it fast okay very good uh, there is a lag okay karishma says to learn priya says to improve the knowledge uh, karishma says to acquire knowledge madhumita says to learn something new uh uh Sar uh sarveshwaran says what we think we expose to others to gain knowledge information ganesh very well answered knowledge fun etc okay priya very well answered to communicate effectively uh kamesh to learn knowledge come in good pronunciation that's also good uh kar gurali very good to know about something uh durai murugan to know uh, to acquire knowledge fun peace and learn very good very good so we know that there are different purposes of reading and also we learned that there are different strategies of reading right we we know that there are, there is skimming there is scanning there is purposeful reading for each of the uh, uh, you know needs that we have we focus on one type of reading or the other so this was the first thing that we learned then we said okay if it is a small paragraph i can just read and quickly answer whatever questions you ask if it is a large paragraph like the bigger paragraph that is given in the aptitude test or cat exam right how will i quickly read and find what it is right so we learned the concept of topic sentence topic sentence is a first one or two lines in any uh, reading material which tells what is the topic that that paragraph is going to describe we also learned the reverse way if i give you a, a line you were able to pick a topic for that line right we did a lot of exercises we did a lot of uh, options in which we uh, explored reading okay now how many of you are comfortable with reading can i can i have a thumbs up has this uh, five days of reading exercises helped you how many of you are comfortable with reading okay okay i am very happy i am very happy so you will have a assessment test tomorrow okay on reading okay so i want you all to be prepared uh, take it light uh, relaxed and do it very well okay it will be a fun test okay so just focus on getting what is the right thing for a particular question okay so i'll meet you again on monday do well in tomorrow's test have a great weekend thank you so much have a good day people have a good day any more questions any questions to resolve from my side okay thank you i'm i'm giving you some 6 minutes extra spare time today because i want you to quickly review your notes and prepare for the exam tomorrow okay have a good day ma'am thank you kati ah uh, yes ma'am yes ma'am you can stop karna thank you ah uh, okay ma'am thank you ma'am have a nice